Good morning and welcome everybody. Today my discussion topics is the characterization of cellulose fibers by the RTIR spectroscopy. I have taken two spectra. Uh, the first spectra is the microcrystalline cellulose, the RTIR spectra. And uh, second is the after a sector of uh, wood fall cellulose fibers. You can see the peaks. In both peaks, uh, we see the same, the peaks in the region. Uh, the first peaks, we can see the region of 3600 to 2900 per cm. This is the due to stretching vibration of the waves and CS bones in polysaccharides. 3331 per cm, this fix stretching vibration of the hydroxyl group in polysaccharides. And uh, another peaks near that, we see this 2894 per cm. This is the CS stretching vibration of hydrocarbon constituent in polysaccharides. And we can see the another reason the fixed typical bands 16, 1630 to 900 per cm. Uh, we we'll see the first fix 1633 per cm. This is the due to the water molecule observed in the cellulose. Another peak we will see near about uh, what we observed peak uh, 1428 per cm uh, due to stretching and binding vibration of the CS2. Similarly, the 1367 per cm, the stretching and binding vibration of CS. CS2 and CS vibration are very near. You can see the peaks. And similarly, 1334 per cm stretching and binding vibration of the weights. And uh, under the peaks, we can see in the region of 1027, 1027, the stretching and vibration, uh, stretching and bending uh, due to the CO bonds. You can see this is the RFTI, uh, the spectra of wood, wood and pulp cellulose fibers compared to microextrained cellulose. So you can see similar peaks uh, in comparison. This is the, and uh, this is the explanation uh, of the peaks of the FTIR uh, of uh, characterizing cellulose fibers by FTIR uh, explanation. And this is the by reference. Uh, thanks for watching.